Well, at least they checked it in here. I still have my pistole. And I'm probably going to use my pistole to piss. Tole. Okay. Okay, 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 I think I'm... At least we can get through this part of the fight pretty easy. to see when it gets all gray like that. Nice. I'm not gonna drop my pistole I need your fucking mind. I want my pistole. Okay, whatever. Actually, a pretty hectic fight. Definitely. Take care of those guys. Move, 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 move. Jump. Take care of this guy. Move, move, move. Take care of this guy. Keep moving. Nice. And now figure out where the next place to go is. Nope. Pistole. <laughs> no. No, please. With sprinkles. Oh, there you are. 
There we go. Keep going. Cover me. Go, go. What do you mean no targets? The shotgunners. They really they were the ones that did all the damage. There's more of them. Keep going. Go, go. Shotgunner, please die. How much fucking health do you have? It's a fucking mini turret! Jesus Christ! Fucking hell. See how many fucking bullets I threw I put into that dude? Alright, make me mash. This is still that era of PS of, of game design where we have to mash to the holding. I'll hold it. You go first. Okay. That was close. It's a long way down. Looks like that beam's the only way across. I think I see a rope down there. Okay, sit tight. I'll go down there and throw it up to you. Yeah, the illusion of activity is definitely, definitely right. Do we just drop? No! That is totally survivable! I love this game. It decides when certain thing certain things aren't survival when it looks like they totally should be. No, please, please go down. Down, Drake. Down. No, down! Down, I say, down! Not that far down! Nate. I think I see a rope down there. What? What just happened? What just happened? The pole's nothing compared to a 10-foot drop. Yeah, apparently. Uh, Jesus Christ. I think I see a rope down there. Nathan. Nathan, please. There we go. There we go. God damn. Well, here's the rope. Catch! Got it! Right, follow me. You know she can't make that jump. You're gonna have to jump for it. I'll catch you. Okay. 
I get you. He's good at that, I guess. Come on, over here. Okay. Get your gun out to push. We'll push it. What do you need your gun out for? To push. Hey, we can climb up this thing now. Come on. Be careful. God knows how old these boards are. Hey, I found a rope. As much as I do enjoy this era of platforming, and I, I actually do, do like it, I, it's not a joke. Um, you do have to admit that the contextual prompts are off, like, Look, are difficult sometimes. Is that them? Often they are. Yeah. They're moving Shaver into You that end tower. up dying way more than you feel like you were you you should. Damn it. Come on, we The things hurry. that feel like they are that aren't your fault. And I don't know if there's actually a good solution to that. No. I did see it. Shiny. I knew I wasn't crazy. There was a shiny there all along. The fun thing is because Elena's lighter than Drake, she should probably be better at jumps than he is. There's no way we're getting. For being honest. Okay, I'll try to find another way around. Open it from the other side. You sit tight. All right, just try to be subtle. We don't want to attract any unnecessary attention. Subtle. Right. Got it. Unnecessary attention always felt like a weird line in that context. I feel like something that Elena is trying to enunciate when she when she ordinarily wouldn't. Oops. No! No! locked. There's no way we're getting through here. Okay. I'll try to find another way around. Open it from the other side. You sit tight. All right, just try to be subtle. We don't want to attract any unnecessary attention. They could so, checkpoint us after the scene, not before. They could really do that. They could do that. I think I see the way. I see a path. And it lies up this yonder way. What light from yonder window breaks? Or shelf, or ledge, like really anything that could break. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Quiet. Stay alert. <laughs> See ya. Settle. Settle's my middle name. That or Archibald. <laughs> Nathan Archibald Drake, that's what they call me.
subtle. Quiet. Right? Absolute stealth, exactly. Exactly. Absolute stealth. There were no witnesses. I said there were no witnesses. How dare you contradict me! How dare you contradict me! That's just embarrassing. This is true stealth. Absolute finesse. <laughs> Completely undetected. Seen by no one. No one will breathe a word of this to anyone. Absolute pinnacle of tactical espionage action. We are the reincarnation of solidus of solid old snake. The reincarnation of solid old snake. We are gaseous snake, exactly. We are the lost gaseous snake. So much for subtle. Tell us the guy with the RPG.
No match for my pistole. My pistole non mole. Look at you, you little lemmings. It's adorable. You think that's a winning strategy? Shotgun, I might actually have the winning strategy. What? Oh, checkpoint. That's good. Yeah, that that was a well placed checkpoint on on their part. That was a well-placed checkpoint. Ah, shit. We got snipers. We're sitting dust down here. Get me up that ladder. Elena, come on. Elena, please. Thank you. Watch yourself up there. Finish this combat scenario and then probably wrap things up for tonight. Yeah, let's let's climb, Drake. Climb. Thank you. Please. Sniper rifle. I just heard that RPG. We can't go out there now. Those snipers will cut us to pieces. Hey, I think there's a sniper rifle up there. Too close. Whoa! The RPG guy. Oh, shit. I do that. So many snipers. be someone else's problem right now, Lena. I got snipers to worry about. Here we go.
That's the last of them. Let's get across that bridge. Yes, let's. There they are. <laughs> Did you just see the fucking guy get ragdolled across the fucking camera? We're gonna hurt. And there she goes. Right behind you. And that is where we call it for tonight, actually. <laughs> we made some progress. Let's see how far we are in the game. 80% complete, which means we're almost definitely going to finish next week. Reminds me of, a, um, of an interview with Yoko Taro. Talking about the uh, origin of Drakengard. Where he said, like, the idea of Drakengard came from, like, the idea of the knights going on these brave quests to beat the dragon. But, like, what if he just got bodied in the first cutscene, in the first fight? Um, that was the, then that was where Drakengard came. So I think of, like, what if the big hero, the master thief, Nathan Drake... Just gets bodied. What happens to the story from there? It's a fun thought. What if he just gets bodied? Um, but we can think about that next time. As we continue our roaring rampage of revenge for Cameraman Jeff. He was, of course, a cameraman of our time. But till then, I am Brandon Carey. Joining us as always is Cameraman Jeff and my love of vaccines and my love of minority lives mattering. One of the cameramen of our time. Sir, Jeff would say that minority lives matter. I promise you that. Jeff would say that. If he were here today, he would say, yeah, Drake, that was a stupid idea, don't you think? And then he would say minority lives matter after that. Once we told him, this is not the time or the place to say that, Jeff. He would, I promise you. But, for now, you're stuck with me. Someone who is not Cameraman Jeff. Bye!